So one of those questions I get from students all the time is how hard is pre-calculus? It really depends. It depends on you as well as what understanding in math you are coming into entering pre-calculus. But I can say the one thing that does differentiate between students that struggle with pre-calculus or have success is going to be their understanding of the foundational skills they are going to need for pre-calculus. This is by far the biggest crutch I see with students not being able to be successful in pre-calculus. It's not the pre-calculus content. That's what a lot of students sometimes struggle. They want to, you know, they want to think about, hey, is pre-calculus hard? Like, can I handle this? And I can tell you the easy answer is yes, you can handle it. But are you prepared to take pre-calculus? Do you have the skills you need to be successful in pre-calculus? And this is kind of a hard kind of concept, I think, for a lot of students to really understand because pre-calculus is a different course. It's not like Algebra 1, Algebra 2, or Geometry. It is the beginning of your journey in upper level mathematics. So what's now going to happen is all the stuff that you previously learned, you're now going to be expected to understand this material. So this is something that would happen all the time. I remember when I first started teaching pre-calculus, I, as a teacher, wasn't even prepared for the different types of students that were going to be entering in my classroom. I specifically remember at the beginning of the year, you know, talking to students and, you know, trying to get their goals and what they wanted to achieve and, you know, trying to see who are the strong math students and maybe who are the weaker students so I can maybe kind of help them. And one thing kind of interesting actually happened. I would, I remember talking to a couple students and they say, Hey, like I'm really good at math or I love math or I've always got A's in math. And you're like, okay, great. Like as a teacher, you just kind of assume like that's the smart kid, right? That students is going to do well in your class. Now, what curiously what happened is a couple of those students obviously were very strong mathematically and they did well at the beginning of the year as well as throughout. But also there's something else that happened. Some of those students that said they understood math, they loved math, they always got A's in math would fail the first test, the first quiz. And I remember looking at their homework. It seemed like their homework was getting done. So there was some kind of issue, like what was happening? Was it my teaching? Is there something we're kind of missing? But the students would continually struggle and they would not get better no matter what intervention we would try to do. It seemed like they were doing their work. They just weren't understanding the material. So we get in a parent conference with the counselor and they'd say, Hey, I want to get in this class. I'm not understanding the teacher or the grading. This teacher does not teach the way that I'm familiar with learning or how to learn. Which again, not saying they're not valid points, but unfortunately I would not have a lot in my corner to kind of say, no, I want you to stay in pre-calculus and I want you to work, you know, through these kind of struggles. So at the beginning of the year, a lot of those students would just change class and they would switch to statistics or maybe something else a little bit easier to go on. But that was frustrating. That was really frustrating for me as a teacher because for a lot of those students, I knew that they could be successful in pre-calculus. What I was noticing by looking at their tests and their quizzes is they weren't understanding some of the foundational skills and they weren't really putting in the work because obviously once you start not understanding something to math, you kind of start avoiding to actually doing the work. I, as a struggling math student, can definitely relate to that. So I had to come up with an idea. Like what is something I I can create to not only let myself know where students stand, but also let the student know where they stand so they can prepare for exactly what is ahead of them in pre-calculus. And that is when I came up with my diagnostic test. Now, this is not a pretest. My diagnostic test is going to assess the foundational skills that students need to be successful in pre-calculus. A pretest is going to kind of go over like what you're going to be learning in that chapter, but you're not really supposed to know the material. That's actually what you're going to be learning. So the foundational diagnostic test is really just studying like what skills I want you to be walking into pre-calculus. And this was extremely eye-opening. When I remember when the first time I gave this to my students, I was like, there is no way. This is way too easy of a quiz. Like this is just not going to tell me anything. Everybody's going to get hundred percent. And guess what? Wow. You would think pre-calculus, honors pre-calculus, like these students are the best in our school. And I would give them a foundational skills, which is basically pre-algebra, algebra, maybe a little bit of algebra too. And I think the average was like a high 70. Now this was frightened to me as a teacher, but it was also so helpful because now I could assess like when if a student bombed the foundational skills, not to say they could be successful with pre-calculus because guess what? I know I've had students that struggled with the foundations that were successful in pre-calculus but they had to put in a lot of that work. But the main important thing that happened is when I would get those same students that said, hey, I love math. Hey, I got A's last year. Or hey, I've always been good at math. And then they come through my class. We enter into pre-calculus. They start to struggle. They fail a test. They fail a quiz. They call their mom. They call their dad. Then we get in a parent conference. We sit in front of the counselor and they say, hey, I can't learn from this guy or the way that he teaches is not the way that I learn. I want to get out of this class. I could quickly go to this diagnostic test and go and take a look at it and I say, I agree. I'm not perfect. I'm not the best teacher. There's definitely things that I can work on to probably assist your student better. But the key, the crutch to what is happening with your students grade is the lack of foundation, is the lack of foundational skills. 
here's what I propose. Yes, the easy fix would be able to drop the class. However, my recommendation is to look at where there's this deficit of knowledge, regardless if you got an A last year over this material, it's either you don't remember or you actually never learned this material and were assessed on it. So that is fine but we need to be able to resolve this information so therefore you can be in pre-calculus. And if we set up a game plan, you put in the work, you put in the effort, guess what? I do believe you can be successful in my class and I want you to stay. This worked for a lot of students and it also didn't work for other students, which I totally get. I'm not here to tell you what course you should be in or if your teacher is a good teacher or a bad teacher. There is a lot that goes into those decisions. But I can say broadly that having access to the diagnostic test, knowing where those current students currently stood, just allowed us to take a step back and say, all right, how much of this stuff do we need to be reviewing in addition to also going over the pre-calculus material? If I'm struggling with pre-calculus, should I just think that I'm stupid or I can't handle pre-calculus? Or should I just really understand that there's a lot of the content that I didn't learn or I don't remember for whatever reason, that I just need to get caught up on so therefore I can be successful. Because the thing is guys, the test doesn't lie. If you don't remember or never learned the information, it's going to show up. You can't fake it. You can fake your knowledge on a test or quiz that you have to study for. You can also fake your knowledge on homework. But a diagnostic test that you have no idea what type of questions you're about to get, it's very difficult to fake it. And sometimes the truth is very hard to swallow. I get it. But at least you have something to go off of. And at least you know, hey, is pre-calculus easy or hard? Do I have the foundations that I need? And if you don't, that's okay. Set up a game plan to be successful. So if you'd like to be able to see the pre-calculus assessment that I am talking about, go ahead and check down the description down below. And if you need help setting up a game plan for exactly what you need to know for pre-calculus, then you're gonna absolutely love the next video I have for you here. Cheers.